Hello, this is my capstone project for school. I will showcase everything about the application that I made and what each commit is for and what the code does. First, we have the introduction page. Um, welcome to TypeSec Security. We have been providing cybersecurity solutions since 1999. We have dedicated to securing your systems, whatever, if it's a physical hardware or a part, small personal website. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, then we have two buttons, the contact button and the about us button. The contact button will bring you to the contact page and the about us button will bring you to the about us page. Let's start with the contact page, however. We have a name field, a company field, and a phone field, and now we have a message field. I'll put my name in a name field. And because I'm not um, part of any company, I will uncheck the checkbox. And then I'll put a phone number in the phone field. And then my message in the message field. Then click some email. And whoops, I forgot we need to at least have 25 characters in the message field. Let me fix that and we could try again. Okay, it works. Hopefully, yep, it works. Now we can send an email via our email client that we have right now. Even though it doesn't actually work because the email address that we are actually sending the email to doesn't actually exist. <laughs> okay. Hey, oops. Okay. Now let's go to the About Us page. This is the entire... Well, wait, hold on. Okay, here's the About Us page. Text Security has 22 years in experience with securing systems for the biggest corporations around the world. Tysec Security was founded in 1999 by Nosam G. Wesif, his father's company, got infected by a computer virus. Nosam then created Tysec Security to secure computers and servers around the world. This is the entire application. Now we could read over the commits. So the first commit is the initial commit. Basically, that's when I initialized git, the version control I used. The news commits was me experimenting with the web view, however, I did not use the web view in the end. The news commits is where I made the email activity or the contact page. Then I made the about us page wait, in these commits. And then I added the translation, which I will talk about later. And then the latest commit where I added more image views. Now let's look at the Java code now. Don't worry, I just will break it down. <laughs> This code is for the main activity. This code is to make a sort of buttons that can bring you to the respective activities or pages. And this code is for the contact activity, where, where when you click the send email button, it checks if the text fields are in good order, and if they are not, then it'll tell the user that they are not that great. <laughs> and if everything's okay, then we could bring the user to the email client where they could send the email. Then. This code is for the about activity, which is pretty small. All it does is just gets the current year, which is 2021 as the making of this video, and it's subtracted by 1999, which is the quote unquote age of the, well, the company that actually doesn't exist. <laughs> and then put it into some text and then show it to the user. That's how it, it tells you how many years of experience the company has. And then there is code for a button that brings you to the contact activity. Then, well, that's pretty much it for the about activity code. Now let's go over the XML files. This XML file is for the main activity. We have an image view and a linear layout with text views, spaces, and buttons inside it. And this XML file is for the contact activity. We have an image view and multiple linear layouts with a text view and a text view and sometimes a checkbox in them. And then we have a button at the bottom where the user could send, well, the email. And then finally, this XML file is for the about us activity. It is similar to the main activity. We have an image view, some text views, and a button. And also, I added a translation to the application. So basically, um... If, you're, if you speak English, um, basically it shows the 
application English, and if you speak Arabic, it shows application Arabic. Those are like the only two languages I support, however, well, in the application. And that is pretty much it. You can view the source code on GitHub, the link is in the description, and have a nice day!